I thought I'd take a look at this oscillator chip, the LTC 6900. And to the left, you can see a string of resistors, two strings, and we'll be using one string and then the other string, along with C3 as the RC time constant. We're going to start looking at this with this setup. J1 pins 2 and 3 are going to be shorted. That supplies power to this circuit. And I'm going to start with J4 with pins 2 and 3 shorted. That's the um, resistor string that has the most resistance. On J5, I'm going to have 1 and 2 shorted. And what that does is that supplies ground to pin 4 of the chip. Now when we take a look at what's coming out at the output at pin 5 of this chip using an oscilloscope, I'll capture what we see. And after the capture, I'm going to change the jumper on J4 to jumper across 1 and 2. Less resistance, so we'll have a higher frequency. Now when I capture that with the oscilloscope, I'm going to move the jumper on J5 to 3 and 4. And this is an open, so in other words, there's really nothing on pin 4. And of course, we'll capture that with the oscilloscope also. And after we have that captured, I will change the jumper on J5 to 5 and 6. And what that does is that supplies 5 volts to pin 4 of the LTC 6900. And of course, we'll capture that screen also. This is what it looks like physically. Now, I did not build this. A friend of mine built this for me. We were having coffee one morning, and I had these little chips with me. And I was complaining about, oh, how am I going to <laughs> test these chips? And, uh, well, Richard took the chips and put it on this little board, and if you want to know where the chip is, it is right here. Really a very small little chip. And as before, we mentioned how we're going to move the jumpers. If you take a look at the jumper that's on the left, that's the first one we're going to move. And we're going to move it from 2 and 3 to 1 and 2. And then when we capture all that information, J5 is at the lower right. And it's uh, set up on a ground right now on pin 4 of the chip. And then we're going to move it to 3 and 4, which is open. And then 5 and 6, which supplies 5 volts to pin 4 of the chip. All right, I got power on the chip and the jumper that's on J4 is jumpered across 2 and 3, pins 2 and 3, and on J5, pins 1 and 2 are jumpered. Okay. And I'm going to ask, or I'm going to save that. This will take a little while. And I'm going to do this for each as we go along here.
Okay, now I'm going to move the jumper on J4. Jumper it across 1 and 2, the other resistors in the RC time constant. Okay, down the board. And we can see that it's a higher frequency. And again, we'll punch the button here to save that. Okay, now on J5, right now we've got 1 and 2 shorted. I am now going to move that jumper to 3 and 4 which isn't open. So basically all I have to do is take the jumper off and that is 3 and 4. Make sure I said that right. Yes, three and four. Okay, let me capture that. Okay, that's captured, and we can see that it's a lower frequency. So now I'm going to move. that jumper to 5 and 6. And here we have an even lower frequency. So let me capture that also. What I'll do is uh, take these captures and put them on the drawing with the appropriate jumper settings. Here's the setup and the oscilloscope picture that we took and this is the first setup pins 2 and 3 are shorted and when I moved on J4 that jumper down to 1 and 2 we got a little bit higher frequency and moving the jumper on J5 to pins 3 and 4 we get a little bit lower frequency. And then when I move that jumper to 5 and 6, we get an even lower frequency. Thanks for watching.